the, uh, is the statistical data. So for example, discovery attracted more than 30 nationalities or citizenships. My class is a discussion based and I call student centered learning. I usually solicit students questions and you know main points and everybody upload and share. Um, students have a different interpretations and take and different questions and some of the points uh, are disputable. So some students agree with certain points, others disagree with it. And that's fine. But it's, it's very important to listen to other perspectives and other opinions. So I often use the expression called agree to disagree. Usually when I express my opinions, I ask questions so that they can think further. Even I thought the student's opinion or the take was wrong from my point of view, I don't say that. I ask questions, so hopefully they can find out by themselves. Or I can be wrong too. You know, I just didn't understand the student's point, but while students are answering my question, I can get how or his point. Oh, I see, I see. Now I understand. I get it. A student can learn how to manage organizations, particularly non-profit organizations. My teaching focuses on more project-based. For example, at this moment, I'm research project is about program evaluations and especially evaluate how university student um, volunteers uh, develop their knowledge and skills or increase their self-esteem. And we try to make questionnaires with, uh, with each other and they go to a, a non-profit and interview with university, uh, volunteers, university students, their colleagues and to collect the data and analyze the information with uh, statistical skills. My goal of teaching is to teach students to learn, um, think globally and act locally. And to do that, students must, need, must learn to really understand others. GDP is a perfect place for demonstrate that idea I mean, we have students from different cultural background and while Japan has a very strong culture. So in the classroom, they, they feel like they, there's no cultural barrier and uh, they think like in a global way. But in their daily lives, they have their, uh, their thinking or their behavior controlled by the cultural norms. So they have to do how to fix or adapt into a local culture. And that is a good environment for them to combine the two aspects of thinking. From my childhood, I have, a, well, a dream of becoming an engineer. In 1988, I received scholarship from Next, okay, next, and then I come, came to Okayama University, where I study master's course in synthetic chemistry. And I used to live in international house in Kuano Kicho, and uh, we had a lot of Japanese friends. And they used to visit us in the evening, and we had parties and uh, a lot of cultural activities. Still, I have communication with those Japanese friends. Okay. I'm a believer of Islam here, and also. We have uh, many Muslim students. Uh, we think we have a quite uh, good and peaceful life uh, in Okayama, especially Okayama University is close to our Islamic center here. So students can go anytime and pray there, and it is very convenient. Especially uh, international students, they come from overseas alone and sometimes they are stressed, feel sad and loneliness and depressed and sleeping at home for many hours. So I try to support them mentally and physically and I want to be a mother figure <laughs> that um, students can tell anything or share anything and open my doors for all the students so they can jump into my uh, office whenever they need. And I'm, I like it. 
Uh, one of the defining features of GDP is that once students enter the program, they don't have to decide what they want to do for their entire stage of study here, which means that they can explore different courses, different possibilities, and design their focused area of study in their later stage of study in this program. I think that's very important because uh, not every kid um, understand what they really want to do um, when enter university. Many faculty members are very passionate. Um, they, and they put lots of energy for education and preparation. I admire them. Um, our program is new. It's, it's still in fancy. And um, because of that, we can do something new. A students like me who are ready to make challenges to discover something new um, expect, unexpected, I think that would be a good fit to this program. Yeah, they have to have some issues that they want to address, then they can learn um, many knowledge and skills from uh, Discovery program and other faculties. I want students who want to improve their Japanese further or they already have a good Japanese language as well, so bilingual students or trilingual students, or even they have a little, very limited Japanese ability. They are committed to study Japanese very hard as well, along with anthropology, sociology, political science, economics, etc., etc. Okayama is a paradise. It really is. It's so geographically convenient. I mean, um, I can go to every. I mean, everywhere in Japan, so conveniently. And last but not least, the pitches to die for. 